I started at five years old, and my 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 parents had gotten divorced, and um, my dad was just looking for something to uh, for us to do together. You know, I I didn't really. Uh, he he was a big baseball uh, guy. He grew up, you know, playing baseball, and so I he'd put me into little league and things like this. But they just weren't, you know. I didn't connect with them, you know. I I had way more fun sitting on the couch and and watching old movies, and and he would show me all the old black and white Charlie Chaplin and and Abbott and Costello and I Love Lucy and and all of the Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Um, you know all the classics, and I—that's what I loved. I loved trying to make people laugh. I loved trying, you know, trying to be like Jerry Lewis, and and so we. Luckily for us, we lived in Orange County, which is only about an hour south of L.A. And we, um, my dad was looking in, in in some magazine one day, and it was like, hey, you know, get your kid into acting. Come up and meet with these managers, and this and that. And so, not knowing anything of, you know, we were not from Hollywood. We, my, none of my other, fa- uh, none of my other family members are Involved in the in acting at, at all, or in the industry, or anything. Um, and uh, and so we just went up there and tried it. And I got an agent um, and a manager, and just started going to auditions and auditions and auditions. And then, um, but it, for for commercials or for movie roles or for... for for everything really mostly commercials at that age you you actually are wearing a commercial which i saw when i was a kid of the pokemon commercial yeah of the link yeah cable. yeah the link cable yeah, yeah. Once, once i recognized like your child face i started watching a lot of things that you were involved and in, i didn't know oh how yeah. funny yeah But i remember that commercial that you were in in like opposite yeah, sides of two buildings. Yeah, how about that technology? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, now now we're just like on our phones. Oh, let me yeah. airdrop this. Let me do this. But we had to have a cable to link our Game Boys. Yeah, yeah. and in the screen you could see the Pokemon moving. Yeah, from on one. across the yeah, across the a... wire. Um, yeah, so I mostly commercials, um, but it took me about a year or two to actually finally book something, and. Uh, the first commercial I ever did was a Whirlpool commercial where I had to sit down and eat a Popsicle. And uh, Whirlpool is uh, like washers and yeah, dryers yeah. and stuff. And I had to let the Popsicle drip on my T-shirt. And then my mom would be like, oh, I got to wash your clothes. you know. And so there was take one and take two and take three. So I just kept getting handed yeah. these Popsicles. I'm like, five. I'm like, oh. This is awesome. I'm like, yeah, Dad. I want to keep doing this. This is this is this is great. This is way better than going to school. <laughs> um, and then it just progressed and uh, it got my first movie when I was about eight years old. Um, went and shot that in Atlanta, Georgia. That was the movie with Tim Allen. No, that was called uh, the Neon Bible. Mm. Um, Tim Allen, I worked with on Home Improvement. Oh yeah. Um, on uh, the, the, the I TV was show, yeah, yeah I was about eight years old on that show. Um, that was really cool because that show I did watch and uh, was it was you know loved loved Tim Allen and and everyone on that show so that was really cool to you know get on set and be like whoa this is you know it, it's yeah it's just so strange like I I'm used to seeing these sets on TV and now I'm here wait the the house is just right next to the tool time and tool time's right next to the back like it's just all right here because you think in your mind yeah, yeah when they go to tool time they like go somewhere you know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that was really cool. And then, and then it just kind of progressed. I, I, uh, started doing a bunch of, you know, little movies and TV shows and guest spots. I did a lot of guest spots on all of the, a lot of the shows of the nineties, like Seinfeld, Carolina in the city, Drew Carey show, um, home improvement. You were in a movie with Tom Cruise as well, right? Oh yeah. I did Jerry Maguire. I did, uh, uh, I was, um, I was the kid at the beginning of the movie who <laughs> tells Tom Cruise to f off. <laughs> um, that was really interesting because, uh, you know, my mom is 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 pretty religious and 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 very Christian, and and I felt so bad because she was telling all of her friends at church, you know, you got to see my son in this new movie, but she hadn't seen it. I'm like, no, mom. I'm like, oh, so I finally had to tell her. I'm like, mom, I say a bad word. Oh, she didn't either line. No, she didn't know that I said a bad word. So I'm like, mom, I said a bad word, like, you know, uh, 
you, you gotta stop telling, <laughs> you gotta stop telling your friends to go see it and did you meet Tom Cruise did you talk to him yeah he was amazing he's one of the coolest uh, actors I've ever worked with I mean uh, with everyone on set we were shooting in a hospital at the time and so we had a lot of patients a lot of people just watching uh, us, us shoot and there he didn't have any security people keeping people away or um so i mean people were just walking up to him and and you know asking for autographs and doing and he just stopped everything he was doing and gave him his full attention and um he was so kind to everyone knew everybody's name on set was like just i mean just always in a good mood always unbelievably prepared and uh yeah i mean that was a really cool um, experience to uh, as, as you know one of my first experiences um, with an actor of that yeah. stat status you know I, um, I, I, t I talked uh, last week to a Mexican uh, actor called Diego Boneta uh -huh. who's also in Hollywood and he had also one of his first experiences in Hollywood with Tom Cruise and he told me the same thing that, that he was like a really gentle guy that he yep He was very like attentive with the staff and yeah, I mean it. He it, brought them food, it, food trucks. Yep, and, yeah. that's him. That's him. It's shocking. That's I mean, because I've worked now, being you know, in this business for you know thirty plus years, you you've run into way, the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, people that you just don't want to work with again, or they just you know they they treat the staff bad, they treat the crew bad, they or they're just not present or. You know, the and they're nowhere near as yeah. big as Tom Cruise. You know, and you're like, bro, yeah. Like, if Tom's <laughs> like this, then you need to you need to shape up a little bit. You know, um, but it was really good inspiration and and a good uh, um, motivation to uh, yeah to, to be that way you to know? see an example that big and that and you that young. It's, yeah, it's a lot to yeah to process. Like it it really. It really stays with you, no? Yeah, and yeah. Cuba was really cool too. Cuba okay. Gooding Jr. He was he was really he was really cool too. I because I was only on the set for a couple days, shooting my scene, but then I would uh, go to audition on Sony on the Sony lot, and they were shooting on the Sony lot, and I would see Cameron Crowe, the director, or I'd see somebody as I'm leaving an audition, and I'd be like, hey. Hey, what's up? And they'd be like, "Hey, come, 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 hang out. You know, come, come, see what we're doing. You know." And so I got to meet a lot of the other people on the movie that I that I didn't work with. Um, and uh, I mean, Tom was amazing. I mean, he'd we'd go into his dressing room and we'd play computer games and 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 uh, you know, he he was just that kind of guy of of uh, cool. stopping everything to like give you his time. You know, it was really cool. So you started landing these gigs, like these uh, appearances. Like for one episode, like small yep. roles in movie. Yep. How do you start progressing until you eventually get like a? Well, it was the Amanda show. I I got an audition for uh, a show called the Amanda show, and I had grown up watching a show called All That. Okay. And it was. Uh, it, what, was it in All That? Yeah, All That. Okay, this one. Yeah, that was the show, man. I just loved that show. And it was basically Saturday Night Live for kids. All right. So it was sketch comedy. This is the new one here. But this cast right next to the the picture right next to him, the second one that this says one? Wikipedia. Yeah. That's the old school one oh. that, that we grew up on. And it was a bunch of kids making, you know, different characters and putting on different costumes. It was just the craziest show. And I just loved it. Um, and because that's what I want to, that's really what I, I love doing. I love doing different voices and characters and, and all of that and, and all that. 